Hi guys, Misty Diego here, and welcome back to Encircle the Black Sea. In the last episode, we took a bit of time grabbing the town of Samanda from the opposing forces of the Orisori. These bastards over here, who are currently losing troops by the day, um, but they're raiding my territory in Samanda, uh, forcing me to take a bit more of an aggressive defensive stance. Um... Yeah, we're not in the best position, because unfortunately our troops are taking casualties, and we can't really do well on repression. Uh, we're also in the process of stealing food from these guys, because unfortunately they're stealing our food, which is causing a bit of a problem. Again, we need to take care of them, so I'm going to move my army out. It's going to cause an uprising over here. What's my garrison? Uh, not a lot. Is it? How much, if I leave the settlement, is it going to piss them off? Oh boy, we're not going to get to them before rebellion. And there's no guarantee that the people who are rebelling, and there's a chance that the garrison is permanently fucked. Uh, of course. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a... Fucked if you do, fucked if you don't. Right, well, let's go take care of them. How many turns is it going to take to get us over there? One, two, and three. And that doesn't guarantee that they're going to move. We're going to have to just take the risk. There could be a rebellion, there could be an uprising, but we've got to kill those wankers. Uh, I will do that, which might make my weapons a little bit more effective, who knows. So, we are back, and we are having a bit of a time currently getting our settlements set up. Um, I like how all of our settlements now have the ability to upgrade. Like, it's not just from... I like that. That's a good thing, and I'm very happy about that. I wasn't a huge fan of the fact that I had to be in specific regions previously, so I'm liking that. Question, I can have two, couldn't I? Yes, I could have three if I wanted to. That's very nice. What I might do is I might get um, a dude in our next turn to try and get Miskita set up. Just so that way, because with Samanda with Samanda under control or whatever, we're not going to be able to... We're going to have to tax... When, well, we're going to have to... Um, we're going to need something to keep the peace, I think, really. I <laughs> think it's the best thing I can recommend. I could also hire um, a champion, another champion, who could raise the morale of the populace uh, and hopefully keep the peace long enough for us to deal with stuff, but that's fine. So yeah, it's not a good position. Why am I losing more cash as I look at my bloody... Um, like, every time I look at someone, I just... My money goes down. It was... It's going down every time I select it. What's going on? It's going, to, it's going down. Live as well. I'm a bit worried. Uh, right, let's just end the turn. Actually, no, before we do that. Uh, is there anyone we can trade with, uh, apart from... Well, we're trading with Rome. They're not too pleased with us, but they're not hating us either. And we've got roads. We don't really have anyone else over here. I want to kind of start expanding our horizons a bit, but since Rome is taking over a large chunk of the world, um, we want to try and play it safe. So let's end the turn before we go broke. Um, yes, we, ha we can't afford to take any chances. Unfortunately, at this point, my army is just, we're running out of cash and we're running out of time. We have to kill that raiding force. If we're, if anything else, we have to kill that raiding force. The one downside of the steps is that they are literally, oh, uh, it's such a pain. Though the good news, at least, is that when we finally do engage these bastards in combat, um, we should, they should be weak enough. Our joint enemies would tremble if we were your allies. Your strength, our wisdom, together would achieve great things. Okay, Quidri undiscovered. Undiscovered. They hate, I hate it by them. Who are those guys over there? Ah, oh, those guys. Yeah, I remember. There's a lot of factions here who don't like them, but I kind of think having a non-aggression pact would be a good idea. Because they're Greek, which is one factor which puts us in favor. And second, they are a pretty big nation. So, being on good terms with them means that we can kind of relax a bit. They are at war with a load of other people, so the likelihood for them surviving is low. But if but if they do survive, then they will be in a much stronger position. They may be the counter to Rome, uh, or the challenge to Rome at least. So, we want to be on good terms with them, especially since I'm going to be bordering them uh, with um, our territories in Turkey. Once I get them, of course. So, yeah, it's kinda awkward, to say the least. But the good news, if I can take any kind of good news from this... Oh, hello. Have they moved forward? They've moved forward and they've stopped raiding. There's the good news. So now my food is should be very nice and I can start. They're moving forward, which I'm liking. For some reason they move forward. I don't know why they move forward, but they're moving forward. 
Uh, what do I want to focus on? Civilian or military? I'm going to go military. We've improved the irrigation, which is great. But now I want to go military for two reasons. One for that and two for that. Uh, that one, I think. Given given um, the fact that we can now boost our research a tad. I'm going to do everything within my power. I am going to kill you. Fuck you. I'm coming against you and I'm going to fight you like buggery. Um... One more turn till that's there. They are not as bad as they were before, probably because of the lack of protests. You've kind of stemmed the tide a bit, which is nice. You're still not good, but that's fine. I can't afford to do anything with you, but what I can do, at least in Armir, Armir, Armavir, is we can recruit a new hero. And a new hero... <laughs> and a new hero can hopefully make... Can, there you go, see, we've got a, my, we've got a plus two already, which is going to be brilliant. It's going to cost us a bit, but that's fine. These guys need to kill those guys, and then I can turn them into slaves. They have a higher level commander, but my dudes are also getting re re um, replenishment. They are clearly within the with fucked zone. They are good. Their armor is, you know, they they oh they have no armor. Never mind. They have an army. Wow, no armor at all. They are fucked. We will have to try and engage them as best as we can. I mean, they've suffered. They 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 are losing. Uh, ah, good. Oh, good. Culture is in. That's good. We're at uh, 80% culture as well, which is fine. Unhappy populace? Really? I couldn't tell. Uh, a wise man. Who's this? Oh, okay. I'm a little nervous that you're not... What do you want to do? I want to, I want to, I'll try and uh, get you to abandon your family and join mine at some point. Um... But there we go. Okay, that's so far that's good. We're losing money though, which is not good. So we will try and uh, try and get you to knock out those dudes because we're running out of money as soon as, po well, as soon as possible. We're running out of money. Put it that way. The amount of tax that we have here, we have to stabilize. And in order to stabilize, we've got to start doing shit. So yeah, um, it's going to be one of those things, and it's not going to be good. But here we are. So, let us end the turn. Yes, I'm aware. Edicts are not going to be a strong thing with us. So, yeah, I want to try and inc I want to try and increase the amount of damage my dudes can do. Because then if they can fight... F if we can fight uh, with strength, then my small... Un you know, my relatively small eyes can at least have the ability to duke it out properly with our opponents. And we... I don't, I don't know what kind of research certain factions will have. But if we're going up against enemy armies with low armor... Um, low morale and um, not not much melee defense. My attack, no. Um, my melee attack should be able to cause significant casualties to reduce the ability of uh, the lower soldiers to rout, which means the higher class soldiers are going to be surrounded and overwhelmed faster. Like the thing is, going for the damage is a good idea because it just means that we can kill shit faster and make stuff rout faster. So. There's multiple positives, uh, which is good because we need a, we need a lot of them, um, especially since up ah, he's come eyes ah, raiding again. That's good though because if I'm not mistaken, if you attack someone whilst they're raiding, they've got a bunch of debuffs um, on top of whatever they've got because their troops are always their troops are like tired instantly and what have you. But we have to kill them. There are not enough funds in your treasury to build anything. Ooh, this time. there's not enough cash. We're losing money at a rate of knots. And we're very close to a rebellion. Why don't you just, you know... Right, you. How can I serve you? Uh, military training. We hunger for battle. Oh, I'm giving you some upgrades. My god, am I giving you some upgrades. Um, I could give these guys some armor, but that's fine. Right, you. Time to die. Yeah, I figured you'd run. Uh, but this is a good thing. Sadly, okay, so the good news is... A l okay, so we actually get a chance to look at their ca their armor. So the strongest cavalry they've got is... I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce that. So they've got uh, mercenary axemen and horsemen. Okay, there's a lot of fucking archers here. Which is good because it means um, they've also got some decent armor, but it's mostly cavalry. So we're going to be running around the map chasing after them. Or I could just do it as an auto-resolve. It's going to be a lot of casualties, but I think auto resolve or kill them. Mm, we're going to waste the entire episode fighting them. But it is easier. 
No, we'll fight this one. I, I, I want to try and minimize casualty intake because we may have to deal with a rebellion. If we lose too many troops and then a rebellion occurs, we're not going to be able to do shit. So I will fight this battle. I could do a night attack. Uh, but no, let's have it in the day. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do a battle. We need to fight this one. It's planes. Or at least I hope it's planes. And because a lot of them are cavalry, we may get them to commit to some... I mean, again, if I can just force them into combat, in a sense, I've already won. Because it's spearmen versus cavalry. And it's understrength cavalry versus, uh, you know, readily, you know, ready... Ca like, understrength cavalry versus infantry with spears. Like, my army is kind of the perfect counter to their cavalry. And I've got sharper pointed. Like, my my spears are all like are even sharper than their shit. Um, which I'm kind of smug about. Um, does he improve melee attack as well as ranged attack? No, just... Uh, it's a shame. I kind, of, I kind of wish you could improve the damage of the missiles, though that would be a little bit overpowered, to say the least. But that's okay. Cavalry will take more of a passive form in this battle. I don't want to. I don't really want to do anything too casual about it. Uh, yeah. Well, that, if we are doomed to meet our fates today, um, sure, we're going to die. This is the end of our campaign, everybody. The commander thinks we're going to die. Hmm. You should have more faith in me, or faith in the gods, because I guarantee you one thing. There's going to be a lot of dead horses on the ground by the time we're done here. Motherfucking river battle. Oh, 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 oh. Stop him. Double time it. Cavalry. Cheeky fucking wankers. Our general is under attack. They've taken a bit of a hit, sadly, but they've they've attacked my strong dudes. All the while. Phalanx. Just in that. Fuck you. Begin the encirclement. They're fucked. They're completely fucked. My commander is over there. Uh, Archers. Right, you boys, concentrate fire on those dudes. You boys. You. Concentrate fire on there. In fact, you know what? You two, concentrate your fire on there. And then, yeah. Militia, you form up over here as well. Right, they're broken and routed. That's fine. They're gone. They gotta look. They gotta be running soon. We're taking shit, unfortunately, but they're going to run out of ammo soon enough. And we're shooting the living shit. Like, I'd like this skirmish engagement. In fact, fuck it. You, you, you. You're in formation. You, 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 and you. Phalanx up. You'll take your armor versus... Uh, your armor goes up a bit, and your ability to tank shots is also uh, upgraded, which is fine. we got to pop them. Pop them, pop them, pop them. We're taking shit. They're taking shit. But I can shoot them and kill them before they can shoot my shit. The only thing that would be better is if I had my Spartan... Uh, <laughs> if I had my spear, if I had my spearmen from Sparta who could throw shit back at them. Oh my god, I remember those days. Those were glory. Like, the best part about the entire fucking thing was the fact that as soon as the enemy got close enough, not only did they take the shit from my archers and my large onagers, but also my, um, my fucking, um, spearmen. Like, my infantry would then start throwing shit in their direction. It was the best fucking time. Because any time someone attacked me, they would get fucked from so many angles before they even reached my combat line. It was beautiful. I cannot describe it in any other way except beautiful. I like how this guy is just sheepishly coming back. It's like, fine, I'll join the battle. And they're gone good. It means that we can focus our attention a little bit more on the front. 
These dudes are getting ripped apart. They're admittedly absorbing a bit too much fire for my personal liking, but that's fine. They'll die in a second. Yeah, there you go. They're just being fucking trolled around. It's brilliant. But the main point is we're aiming to try and kill the cavalry. Like, this is a skirmish fight that I do not mind taking time in. Or taking time to fight in. They're, we're spamming missiles in their general direction. We're throwing shit in their general direction. They want to have a skirmish fight. That's fine. I can kill them. I can spend the resources just plowing shot after shot into them. The only sad point is I don't have enough um, archer... I think I don't have enough ammo for them. One of our units is so we are going to have to commit and charge at some point, but... If I can kill him as much as possible. Oh, that's beautiful. I told you there'd be a lot of dead horses here. We are going to have horse steak for days. It's going to be beautiful. Seriously, I could send this back over to um, the settlement and be like, Guess what, guys? We're going to have roast horse every fucking day. <laughs> Oh, they've they've given the fight up. Brilliant. See what I mean? They didn't even get into melee combat. Fucking cowards. You're not getting away. Not without suffering some more fatalities. Fucking cowards. Honestly. So we lost 155. That's much less than eight than 15%. I'm hoping that the battle, uh, the deaths, are hopefully, um, oh yeah, start again. I'm hoping that because we chased them down and, you know, gutted them, um, that their armies will, uh, who got the most kills? 222 on that last unit. Well fucking done, lads. You're getting the first round of, <laughs> you're the one who gets the best, gets the, gets the least buggered horse meat. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, truth be told, if that was real life, I probably would have done that. I'd be like, look, we've killed all these horses, so who fancies a steak? Um, probably I'd send them... No, I probably would try and send the meat back to... back. Like, I'd find a way of drying the meat and sending it back to the settlements and be like, right, we've got food. Uh, lots of it. But yeah. We got them. Kill the prisoners. Save the prisoners or ransom the prisoners. You know what? Ransom them. There's No one's going to get it. We're going to get an instant amount of wealth. Stab in the face. And we're going to have money to, to go for it. Advance. And there we go. Right. Time for you to be taxed, Sonny Jim. Right. I can now afford this, which is good. I, can, I, I am taxing it, lol. Right. Time for you to start returning home. Okay, that's that one done then. So we can begin the process of starting. And we've got food. Check it out now. Defunct soul brother. Uh, question. Are you the settlement I'm not taxing? No. Are you the settlement I'm not taxing? No. I mean, I'm, I'm taxing all the provinces, am I? Yeah, I am. That's good. That's good to know. I'm happy. But yeah, so there we go. Settlement under our control. And we are now in the process of converting it. In, probably in a many uh, number of things. But yeah, we're getting the replenishment. We're getting everything we're set up. So we're going to be... We're going to be winning this. This is going to be how it's going to go for a while. And better still, if we can keep the peace and gain some advantages, um, our army. Well, that's the end of that faction as well, which is the good thing. If we're not at war with anyone for a while, it's going to be good. And bearing in mind, it's been only, what, a couple of in-game years? We've barely taken a footnote. Knossos. Oh, those guys. Samander, faction arises. Ivaski, confederation. Knossos. You're a Greek. You might even like me. Uh, no. <laughs> they may not like us. To this Trade. And we'll ah, you don't like me. My How about a non-aggression pact? You don't like me at all. Uh, they're at war with they're people, with a Sparta. For... Um, they're at war with Sparta. But Sparta isn't really in a good position at the moment. I, I hate to shit on my brothers, but they really are not good. <laughs> they really are not good. Uh, no, we're going to go to war with them. Uh, we, we're trading with all the good people that we want to trade with for the time being. If we could get Knossos on our side, that'll be good. They are neutral to us. Maybe I could... Be f oh, I don't know. They're, but no, they're at war with... Question, if I were to offer you trade... No, they won't. I don't think they would. Parthia? 
They may be in likely to trade. I greet you in my master's field. Uh, non aggression? Our do not want trade. How about if I offer a payment of 30? Fuck it. Okay, well, that's a definite maybe. A maybe. Who's this? Yeah. You see, this is why I declined the alliance thing. You're about to get fucked by these guys, and I'm not going to do anything about it. Because if I did, I'd be in the firing line too. And that's the worst part of it. Uh, yeah. So, where's Ra? The Ra is at the top, and Daix is way over here. We probably want to focus on Ra. Well, first of all, we want to get um, Siracina so we can begin to transfer troops over. But, what I probably will do is, when this settlement gets a little bit more chill, I will probably go over there. That said, we should probably try and grab that settlement, because it's, in comparison to everywhere else, it's relatively unguarded. Like, that's like a 20, that's a full stack there, and I've, I've got a full stack here, more or less. Um, yeah, I've got a full stack. I can technically recruit more troops, but really, I just, I just need more. Yeah. Uh, right, so let's get those troops in board. Let's get those there. And in terms of, tr uh, in terms of, yeah. Well, uh, we'll get, we'll work something out. We'll, co we'll work something out. I'm totally sure what's going on. I think it's an agent actions that are stealing cash from us. We could do with more trade, but... I definitely need some more money. But with the deaths of those um, step bastards... Uh, we should be able to successfully purge... Well, we should be able to successfully uh, begin a campaign of aggression. I just need to get to a point where I need... Uh, well, again, once I've secured the northern territories, like this whole province, once we've secured it, that's it. That flank is completely covered. Um, it's just converting this region and dealing with it is the problem. But again, it's a 12 turns per year, so this is going to probably be one of those semi... I say it's an intermediate campaign, so it tells me this is going to last a while. Um... But yeah, um, if we can keep up the pressure and the momentum, I'm sure we can crack on and get some solid uh, moment. It gets on to some solid, uh, some so yeah, some solid gameplay. I say some solid gameplay. You know what I mean? Like y you know what I mean? Uh, Sinop is gone because let me guess, the Sinop faction is gone, which sucks. Uh, outraged populace. Oh my god! You just can't help yourselves, can you? Uh, well, I'm on my way back. Yeah, fuckers. Hello. Uh, we have had consecrated ground, which is good. Uh, the wars have been declared. Bithia and Boogie. Arshanka! Subject gains no variety. What? Requires attention. We must celebrate. Good, I suppose. I'd sacrifice a cow. When in doubt, sacrifice shit. Always the way. Noble families, we should... We should probably try and keep... Uh... Yeah, that works. Yeah, take that. That's useful for him. For you, I think you should probably have that as a, as a kind of a benefit, if you will. Just because I think there will probably be some benefits in that regard. Anyhow... Um, hopefully the reduction of shit will be less unbear- well, less, uh, frustrating. How's this summer? And unhappy populace. Yeah, well, I'm aware of that. Hopefully, with this going down, it should finally begin to turn the tide a bit, though I am a little concerned. Eventually, we're going to be resting up in Samandar, and that's going to hopefully convert things. In about one turn, though, which is a good thing, um, we're finally going to have a proper farming settlement, which will have a garrison that will be beneficial uh, even if it's not, um, 
even if it's a play, even if it's like one of those other things. Tanaeus is good at the moment, but obviously these bastards are doing whatever, and you know we've got other stuff going. Again, converting the whole regions is being a bit of a bitch. We are probably going for the bit of the hard play because obviously trying to get all through all the other shit. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a bit of a fucking... Well, well we are going up to Ra and then down to um, Degs. This is a bit of a bitch to take over, to be honest with you. But here we are, minding our own, doing what we can, because fucking everything. Uh, still, missile damage for all land units. Defense. Like, this is just a thing I need. It's not even a question of to whether or not I... Um, it's not even a question of whether or not we could potentially do with or without it. It is literally, we need this shit. Which is uh, a bit of a shame, unfortunately. I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. But still, I'm happy that we are at least getting it. Like, it's one of those things that we could probably have benefited from some economic growth or some economic things to try and stabilize our economy. But we need the ability to defend ourselves. And... Having an ability to get 5% defense damage and missile damage against any fucker who tries it is going to be a good win for me. I'm not going to lie. And if we can convert the provinces to be super happy and go lucky and what have you, then I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, eventually, what I will do is have a second army to come back up the first one. If we can have Armavir... Um, well, if we can calm down Miskita, and if the col you know, if the col if that section of the bloody terrain can chill the fuck out for a minute, then, um, we can possibly have, uh, some benefits to, we can possibly have some benefits to having these people here, but, you know, again. Criteus, yay. And a child is born, and Scythia is about to rebel. Of course he's about to rebel. Oh, good. That's... An extra two months. That's, that's something. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Right. Garrison the fuck out of this settlement. Boff. Fuck you. Rebellion cancelled, bitch. Uh... <laughs> I could if I wanted, but uh, I'm going to hold back. I'm going to keep the growth going. Uh... So you have ranked up, correct? Correct. And he has a cunning. Though, truth be told, I am kind of wanting to give him a pet, a pet snake instead. Um, we've already got that one. Unity. We need... Oh, we already got that. No, he needs to be a higher one. That's the one we want, but he won't give me that. Uh, I will do that, though. Extra zeal. That's right, bitch. You ain't getting shit. Uh, and we also finally have money again. They, um, oh my god, even Miss Guitar is uh, fine. Right, you are going to kind of be a garrison guy. I will say. I do intend on you being a garrison guy. Um, like, you're a logistics dude, to be honest with you. Uh, agricultural upgrade allows for the improvement of the intellectual <laughs> political reformer. Uh, city governor. Yes, please. I want you to make me have those people like me. It's quite simple. It is literally just, let's have this. So this settlement is going to be a farming thing, so that's going to provide us a bit of food. Ironically, it doesn't give us actual food, but, you know, it doesn't take as much food. And this is just going to be a usual settlement to try and sort of convert the region. But once again, we have Ra, we have Syracina, and we'll have Deix De acting as a food reserve. Literally, its sole purpose in life will to act as an economic boundary. Oh, hello. And you're suffering attrition. Though I'm thinking it's because you're in the swamp. But do I care? No, I fall. Oh, gee, oh, baggage train. Ah! Baggage train. I forgot about them. Oh, yeah. I forgot about them. Fuck. Well, I'm sure we can steal food. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure of it somewhere in the world. But no, these, this at least this is calming down a bit. So they can finally become liking again. I mean, the settlement is needing food, unfortunately. And our... Uh, yeah, it's probably not a good place. I mean, if we had, um, 
if we could nab this settlement, we'd have to start expanding southwards, and I don't want to do that. Like, the te in terms of territory gained for the southern, like, if I ever was to push south, which again, is probably a good idea, I, I, I want to go north first, but if I have to go south, my plan if I was to push south would be to go along this peninsula and mainly secure the upper half of Turkey. Not so fussed about the lower half. You know, having if I had to take all, all, over all of Turkey, then fine, I'll take over all of Turkey. But I'm not desperate to have it. You know, that's the thing. Um, mainly, it's to gain this level. Half of the Balkan areas, depending on how much Rome, Rome controls, of course. Um, and I don't want to piss off Rome. Today, I do not fa I do not want to face Rome, because that's just going to make the campaign take longer than I want it to. So, yeah. Uh, we'll, we will see, though. But I'm hoping by the time I get to that side of the area, this side will be more or less built up, and I'll have been able to make some serious gains in that department. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, Parthia is kind of in the way, but I want them just, just... We're in a much stronger position. Yes. We like Greeks a are a realistic. And I will give you a non-aggression pact, because I am I nice like that. Although my honor cries out against it. It doesn't cry my out against it. Much... That's... You're fine. You are fine, sir. And you're giving me some money, which is better than what you'd get. <sighs> we can expand these regions, but I have no desire to do so. What we will instead do is we will try and keep going up. So there's maybe some episodes, just to give you a forewarning, guys, where not a lot happens. Not joking. I'm, I'm fairly confident that there's going to be some episodes where we'll spend a majority of time just sitting around. I mean, I, mean, I may decide, for the sake of playing uh, playability... And what have you to skip certain bits of the campaign mainly if nothing happens because I think doing it like having every episode just it'll drag the campaign out more than it needs to and I think we're at the point now where I think maybe it's a good idea to start skipping bits of the campaign for the sake of brevity and also for the sake of enjoying episodes because you don't want to have to spend like three episodes waiting for something to happen when I could have just said right okay guys so I'm gonna leave this for now and then I'm gonna come back later when shit is actually happening so I may do that this may be, this, I will, okay, you know what, I'm going to make the thing now. This is the last episode where I don't cut. This is going to be a bitch for me in the editing department, but it's fine. Good, you've upgraded. So yeah, what I'm going to do is after this episode, if there's any pe particular period of time where there's a long, um, long period of peace, which is looking like this episode and possibly the next episode is going to be looking like, um, we will basically cut I'll, like, I'll just stop recording um and we'll come back to uh we'll come back to this sort of thing which saves data it will save space on my on my hard drive so it's kind of a win-win really for me but yeah primarily it's just gonna be um we're chilling we're mining our own and then we'll have points where maybe three or four turns will go by and if nothing happens then nothing happens but for the sake of this episode we're not gonna do the out normal abstract but we are going to uh from after this episode do that shit because i don't have any intentions on moving towards sirasina unless they do something i have no intentions of attacking i want to just kind of build my economy stabilize the settlements try and do what we can to you know just have the day-to-day -day runnings of a oh hello what are you doing and why are you doing that yeah trespasser right what the fuck is going on with that why are you doing that? Why did you do that? I'm not going to attack you, but I am going to ask you. Right, for doing that. Guards will have me listen to you. No trade with you. I will trade. No trade with you at all. You've well, you've trespassed on my territory. I can't. I can't. Again, this is where the logic of t the modern total war games begins to fall flat because it's like it doesn't allow me to middle finger attack. Um, I don't really want to risk losing money. The thing is, they put an army within striking distance of my territory, and then they're upset when I tell them, Oi, don't do that. And I can't actually stop them, which is stupid. Hang on, let me upgrade my commander so he has damage. Like, I really don't get the logic of this game sometimes when it does that. Like, if the AI does something shitty to you, you should have the ability to fuck them over just as much as they have the ability to fuck you over if you start pulling that shit, you know? It, it shouldn't be a case that they can do one thing and you have to do another. 
you know, one rule for them, one uh, another rule for me sort of thing. But here we are. Uh, question. You can do something about this, can't you? Um, we'll do it for Scythia. It's going to cost me some money, but I'm thinking if we can hoof up the happiness meter. There we go. If we have like a couple of turns of that, that's going to reduce the number down by a significant portion. And it makes my life a lot easier. I like how I'm talking about trying to make episodes sort of shorter in certain regards or maybe longer, depending. And it's like, <laughs> it's just literally like, <laughs> these bastards heard about it and they were like, what? You're not going to have a full episode because you might not have anything to do. Well, let's change that, shall we? <laughs> and I hate you for it. Agriculturalist uh, or more control. I'm thinking that. What are you? Yeah, we'll have you. You have the ability to save yourself. And Bion. My man, Bion. How are you doing? Uh, do you want to train up? Uh, we need you to have training. Authority and zeal because we want both of those things. So seven. It's going to be a couple turns before they begin to be happy. But the good news is Armavir has a pretty strong garrison now. It's got a cavalry, it's got three hoplite, six militia, a couple of citizens, and three archers. Plus a garrison of troops from our personal stash who are all readying themselves and getting better at training. So, And also a commander of experience as well. So if they are going to try it, fucking try it. I fucking dare you. All you've got is spearmen. Armenian spearmen. Shit spearmen. That is all they are. So a concealed army has been discovered. I like how I am being told about something that is completely irrelevant to me, but that's okay. So, um... We're hopefully going to kill this step culture as soon as possible, and we're going to... I mean, I'd like to improve the... I'd like to increase my Hellenic influence, but I kind of want to focus a little bit more on building up my economy and not having myself fucked over by it. Ah, uh, we have more militia, but less of that. Ah, oh, that's fine. Um, yeah. I could have bread and games to try and speed up the happiness meter, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Because that would bugger my economy over a bit. And I don't want that. If those wankers try it, they're going. I'm going to war with them. Kind of miss the old uh, territory system or vassal. I mean, this is the thing. The game uh, Crusader Kings Three, as, as uh, that was recently announced, I'm interested in. I'm definitely interested in that. Um, I've got plans. I'm, I'm going to pre-announce this because a, I imagine no one's going to be watching this, which is hilarious. But B, I'm going to pre-announce something. I've got plans to change the re I'm, like major plans to change the flow of this entire channel, um, which is going to affect a lot of the content on this thing, especially this kind of stuff. So, again, for the you know, I've got plans for this channel. I'm going to be it's going to be changing. They're like, we're not. It's going to. It's not going to be the same, shall we say? That's. I'm. I'm not going to say anything else. But it. It's not going to be the same. Fuck off. No. Um. But it will, so, but, there, but, there, but of the things that I intend to change, Crusader Kings 3 is a game I'm intrigued in. I want to try it. I want to play it. It looks good. Set aside. No! You wankers enter my terrain unannounced, uninvited. Uh, rampant piracy. Uh, no, hunted. Why? Because Pergamon is gone, ladies and gentlemen. And our commander has ranked up because of it. <laughs> We've lost people. Well, Jose. Right, this is the most important thing. What is the last thing that I can do to upgrade? Um, I could max out that, which is not a bad idea. In fact, you know what? I'll do that. Oh, what do I have? Melee defense. What's this other one? What can I do? Attritional losses successfully launching an ambush uh line of sight which could be good or armor and upkeep you know what? we'll do that for the ammunition and armor and stuff 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to improve the morale during offensive battles, because I intend to fight sometimes. And it looks like Pergamon is gone, which is a bit of a shame. Scythia is unhappy, but beginning to counteract it, and we've got the higher-ups as well. Um, Baselius is also dealing with that, I'm liking. And the household expands. Ex-slumlord. Oh, so you have more authority. How are we doing for our faction, by the way? Summary. Uh, we are 50%. We're respected. We're not admired, which would be making life a little easier. But we are respected. Uh, overlooked. Ignored. What we want is probably... See, that I don't want. That's the one I want. Beloved. That is the one I want. Because if we can do it like that, Jose. So what the fuck are you doing? You're moving towards territories that might be unguarded. Gabala is the weakest settlement I've got so far. We've only got one Hoplite. I, I really don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't want you here. I, I want to attack you. I can't attack you now because you have 13 units. Admittedly, these guys are all shit. But... Woo! Holy shit! I can't afford them, but my god! My god! There's a hundred of them. But have you seen that weapon damage? The charge bonus? They even have ammo! No, they don't. Speed is what the thing I was looking at. Their armor is uh, pretty fucking dope too. They have a bonus versus cavalry and a bonus versus infantry. They have armor pen. They are the heavy shock cav, which I like. I like a lot. I want them. I want the boss for and hoplite. I do like me a bit of hop boss for and hoplite. It is autumn once again, sadly. But the good news is the, <laughs> as is tradition. How are we doing? How's our growth rate? It's getting there. Once we get to five, I can turn this into like an. I can have something inside the main settlement which will make it all happy again. Which is good. Uh, we need that. And you are going to lower it down as well. So it's going to be the thing is every turn that we have of that they make all PC and like you know lovey. Um, it's going to be pretty dope to say the least. So a little concerned about this settlement. They're not quite going down as much as I'd like to personally, but then that's fine. If they, if these guys decide to try and push towards Gabala, I'm a little concerned, but then again, I'm not. I might, what I might do is if they try it, I'll recruit some more troops, send the guys down, and then we'll attack and for subjugate Koron um, for their crimes. I don't know why they've decided to start mucking around with my territory, but rest assured, if they fucking try it, they're going to get a spear to their face. And whoever is around after I've speared every one of their nobles in the face, I'm going to make new nobles. And these nobles are going to be so afraid because of all the fucking face bit, the bits of face on the first spear. I'm not a nice person if you fuck me over. It's a terrifying prospect to go to war with me. And that's why I, you shouldn't go to war with me. We're weak to a degree, but not that weak. We're not that bad. We need to expand our trading influences, though. I'd like to get a trade mission to Massalia, but... That's, uh... Not quite possible at the moment. I say here it goes, you know what I mean. Dum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Oh, for God's sake. How many times does this have to happen? Right, have a look. There are rumors about... Uh, disrupt the plot. Meet with them. Ready for 
meet with them. They're just chilling there. Okay. As long as they're chilling there, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't want them there, mind you, but I don't mind that they are there. Right, you. Organize some games. Uh, I'm thinking... Or should I try and get some money? No, I'm... How much does it cost to recruit a new agent? Like a new dignitary? 2400 <laughs> It's a little bit. If we can... Yeah, we'll save up a bit on cash. If we can get another dignitary to watch this sector, um, she can earn us a bit of cash. So we've got money, money, and then eventually we can push for money here. And then eventually we can push over here. I'm really happy about this settlement, actually. Like, the fact that we're killing off so many of their things. I could, if I was desperate, roll to get the Shrine of Athena. Or Minerva. 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 But, again, it's not the best. Um, actually, you know what? Tell a lie. That's much better. Extra agricultural upkeep. Yeah, that's, yeah, way fucking worth it. Uh, plus four Hellen Hellenic rituals. Jeez. Shrine of Zizus. What's this? Sanitation and wealth for me. No, I, I think Shrine of Artemis is actually probably one we're going to go for. Minerva is great, but not for everything. Uh, we definitely need to do some of that. But <laughs> again, it's going to be a bit of a while uh, before we do anything of a substantial note. Um, anyway, so let's... Uh... Ah, good news though is that we're going to be able to... Well, we're going to lose money. We are actually going to be able to gain some money. Because, uh, well, gain some benefits... Because in one turn, we're going to finally have that. And that's going to be extremely useful. That'll be even better. But what we will do instead afterwards is probably go to um, public auction. Because it will give us me, give me some tariff trades. I could also push down for that as well. Um, either way, it's going to take me some time. There are, of course, um, legal documentations... Which allows me to do whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Right now, we need to focus on getting um, my soldiers ready to fight. Which this will do. This will help my army out a bit. The Senate suggests that cooperation rather than hostility would serve us both well in the trying days ahead. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I will take that. There has been wisdom at work here. The gods are smiling upon you. I yes, <laughs> there is wisdom. Yes, it's called you being a de you being a delight. Holy shit, that is really nice. I'm loving that. I am honestly surprised that you went for that option because a non-aggression pact with Rome. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. Take that any day of the week. I'm in no position to challenge Rome. Put it that way. And more to the point, if I can get on Rome's good side, then I will be very happy, very happy indeed. There we go. They are being de decent for a change. Definitely decent. I can't believe. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I am fucking surprised at the amount of how much that worked. How much? Yeah, we've lost a bit of money because obviously our soldiers are now gonna be. They're gonna cost a bit more. Uh, we can go for this, which will reduce our upkeep by a significant portion, and that's. Four turns versus nine turns, and I'm thinking, uh, five turns in total. Yeah, that's like half. Good. Grain pits are also good. Yeah, it's all good. All things, all things bright and beautiful. Uh, right. Agent. No, not spy. Uh, mm. Who looks the nicest? You do, because you're facing the right way. Uh, right. At your service. Okay, so you've, we've now got a new agent. She can hopefully improve our economy in this location. And also our happiness. Which is another thing I'm liking. Liking that a lot. You guys are chill as well. Which is good. I don't know why you're there. But you're going to suffer attrition. So that's fine. Well, no, I don't think you will actually. It's a bit of a shame. 
Uh, what can we do? Is there anything we can recruit? Anything we can try and do? I could... No, I can't. I can't really do anything. Damn. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Uh, at least we can kind of say with a bit of pride that we can... At uh, that, you know... Ah, itch. Not itch, you know what I mean. At least we can say with a bit of pride that we're sort of beginning to make of things. Again, it's again we're not really able to do anything at this moment in time because at the moment we just need to stabilize. We've got this settlement that needs to become converted, this settlement which needs to become converted, this settlement which is getting converted, thankfully, but it's still um, still taking a while. We've also got the um, the food thing as well, which is not great. Um, I could put a uh, bread and games on. And that should provide growth and happiness to the population. But it will fuck me over eventually. But you know what? Let's roll with this for now. Maybe one or two turns of happiness and bread and games. And then come winter, we can stop and uh, cancel the edict. We're finally able to sort of start tanking this shit. And if we can have that, then that way I don't have to take, you know, take shit from anyone. And better still, the province will begin to become happy again. And people will like it. And... This settlement and this province will eventually be self-sufficient, and I will can move that guy down south. He can take over the garrison at Armavir, and the guy at Armavir can move up to Samanda and eventually make his way towards Seracina, whereupon we can then begin to start having two armies to take on the might of these uh, step bastards, which will then mean we can conquer the territory a little faster and be able to enjoy uh, less frustrating wars. Though I don't think we're going to do anything until the following year. Uh, campaigning season's over. There's no real... There's no point in trying to go to war now. Unless we're going to go down south. I could, if I was desperate, um, have uh, the guys from Sam Samanda come down south, take on Koron, kill the guys at Koron, and subjugate them, and then come back up to take over the other territories. But that's just pointless. If they're not going to attack me, I see no reason to attack them. Greek updates. Oracle of Delphi. Good shit. And now let's go to this one. I'm not entirely sure what this will be, but if we can get that, then maybe something will happen. Improvements. Uh, Oreta. That's good. And a pet snake. I like. Unseasonable. Mild winter. Nice. That's actually a good thing. That's actually... Uh... Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. But it's good. I like how it's winter, but they're already there. Oh, it's better than nothing. I can't do anything at the moment. Right, you. Earn me money. And you can kind of chill. Or should I start making the Shrine of Artemis? I might make. An, I might start starting making the Shrine of Artemis. Because if I'm not going to do anything, I might as well start building shit. And then that way, we can convert the region a little faster. Earn a bit more food. It will take up some regional income, but I'm hoping the amount of food we're going to have in this set settlement is going to be good. And it does provide sanitation. So, you know, these bastards are going to hear about a thing, a magical device called a toilet, and it's going to be amazing. Isn't it just divine? And they're just staring at this toilet like, what the hell is this thing? And it's like, it's heaven. And they're like, what the hell is heaven? And what is heaven and hell? And we're like, it's a thing that will happen in the future. Lot Good shit, good shit. We got some good shit inbound. And it's called an upgrade. Miskita, Saracina, Samanda. There's a lot of Miskita. There's, there's a lot of R's at the end of the set, uh, set, settlement sentencing. Samanda, Saracina, Armaviar. I might have overdone that on that one, but still still we're doing good shit is happening we just need to start progressing and holding on to uh our once we've begun the conversion factor for um again i think once we've stabilized this province over here in the miskita province i think we'll be fine it's just getting that province to become stable it's no different than um what i'm probably going to have to deal with when i go on to shogun 2 to start the campaigns back onto that um we're gonna have to try and deal with that and once again some fuckwit decides to fuck with us right okay what's going on uh have been calm for some time Ooh. no bull 
Fuck that. I've already lost one. Is that a guy? Is that a boy or a girl? Sounds like a boy. He already died, so we, we, we're not sacrificing. The wife had something to say about this, and she was like, you are not killing my child. I had one, didn't work out the first time, so we're having another one, and you are not, under any circumstances, going to kill him. Which is fair enough. Um, right. Rally slaves. There he goes, Valor. I don't want to adopt this person, to be honest with you, but, you know. Yeah, and... Alright, okay, so that's beginning to calm down a bit now. You guys are hopefully taking some kind of attrition. No, you're not. It's fine, we can deal with that. At least we're getting some of these dudes to chill. And the and the growth rate is going up a little bit. Don't know how many growth we've got at the moment. It doesn't actually say what growth we've got. Like how many times of growth we've got. I mean, I'm probably going to focus a little bit more on this side and turn this into like a farm or something. Like a storage house or whatever. Um, once we've got this, we're going to hopefully be able to reduce our upkeep for a bit, which is nice. Uh, that would be dope as well. Um, there are some very useful things which I think would probably end up, uh, helping us out a lot. Yeah, like, holy shit. Oh! Oh my god, that would be so lovely! Oh! So much... God almighty, that would be beautiful. The gods would smile upon me that day. Oh, baby. Baby, baby. That would be lovely. Oh, oh. So good. Anyway, um... Like I was saying... Uh... I probably have to be careful with uh, the settlement up north. I might be tempted into upgrading some of the defenses on that, like improving the town size. M pardon me. Maybe it'll fuck over the town populace a little bit more, but if I can have a settlement that has at least a decent level of armor defense, then maybe. Maybe. Then again, our garrison's going to be upgraded as well. I think all the garrisons now are upgraded, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, actually, no. Tell a lie. That probably isn't true. I'm getting a bit confident if I'm if all of my garrisons suddenly have uh, upgrades to their. So, don't gonna lie, if that's the case, my God, having a, a blacksmith settlement in your nation is overpowered. Um, if that's the case, but I don't think we're in that position just yet. But anyway, this will probably be the last turn as well. So remember, guys, this is the last episode where I'm gonna be doing this un uh, unlike unedited. Um, normally. Well, I'll try and edit it as best as I can, put it that way. Oh, has the game crashed? Oh, don't do that. I mean, I've got auto save, but come on. I only alt-tab for like a split second. <sighs> no, it didn't crash. And I've got upgrades. Ooh, okay. Uh... Ooh, they've got some new reforms. After losing many wars, citizens from their former spirit, shadow of... Um... That's uh, not too good, but I'm not, um, 
I'm not sacrificing that. And the Romans now... Oh dear. So now we're beginning to see some more. That's going to kill my economy for a bit, but I want some heavy cavalry. That's the, This guy's going to be championing a cause. A beautiful one at that. Um, some heavy fucking cav as well. That's going to be dope. So there we go. Um, I don't care. I really don't care. I don't want my dudes getting killed. That's so stupid. Anyway, so there you guys go. So we're probably what we're going to probably do is I'm actually going to finish this episode, and then I'm going to play out for a few more turns. So you're going to be seeing things a little differently. Um, so from now on, in terms of episodes, I don't know which episode. I'm going to stop even saying what episode this is, because every time I do, it's wrong. So what instead I'm going to say, um, I could actually improve Tannis and put a garrison here, couldn't I? I can't afford to upgrade. I can't even build it. So I could build something here to improve the garrison, which could be good because it's only a 12 and they have like a... I have, I mean, obviously I've got these guys who I actually forgot to upgrade. Uh, I can't upgrade all of you. Uh, question, if I upgrade up to you, can I do that? Yes. Can I upgrade you? Yes. So I can't upgrade the other two. That's fine. Uh, no, it's fine. You upgraded the hulls. Okay, well that's... Not helpful, but it's fine. So what? So yeah. So what we're gonna do is, uh, as mentioned, so from now on, whichever episode this is, we are gonna basically, in periods of calm and quiet, I will basically stop recording, and we will continue out playing through a number of turns, uh, trying to get over to whatever, so that by the time we get things start to happen, we're gonna have a bit more of an action-packed series. So, and this, as I'm gonna utilize this as the fact of you know this is the this is the intermediate series so that's why we're doing it like this sort of thing so i hope you guys enjoy and if you like this kind of content let me know in the comment section down below clicking on the like button and of course subscribing to the channel and i will catch you in the next episode this is mr jaeger signing out